Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're gonna look at the Jabba the Hutt popcorn bucket. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. If you don't already know, this, this is my little space. I call my Star Wars channel. This is where I look at my fandom for Star Wars. I've been with the franchise since the very beginning. I'm 56 years old, <laughs> right? And I absolutely love Star Wars. I love George Lucas. I love uh, Indiana Jones. I love Disney. I love going to the parks. I'm a pass holder. I'm a past cast member as well. So you'll never hear me bag on directors or bag on Disney or bag on anything like that. I'm a fan and I love Star Wars through and through. And because I also love Disney and I love collecting all the merchandise and vintage stuff as well as the new stuff, uh, my brother was kind enough to pick me up a couple of popcorn buckets from Disneyland. They recently had their uh, Season of the Force that uh, took place in California. It was uh, April to June, I believe. And so if you were thinking about uh, collecting some of the popcorn buckets that were available from that, uh, let me just show you a close-up, real quick, real close-up of Jabba the Hutt. Let's go. All right, so here he is in all of his gangster glory. <laughs> you know, I've been to both parks. I've seen lots of popcorn buckets for sale. And, uh, you can find them as low as, you know, $25, $28. He was $35 when he first came out. So whatever the going rate is now on eBay, uh, you might, I might have to pay it because there's a couple of cool features that make him just a little bit more uh, expensive. The first of which is you get a custom Star Wars Hut Clan uh, decorated lanyard. And then you also get an extra character. So... Right here, there is a little keychain or a little key fob of Salacious Crumb who laughs at his side. So that's a cool character. You can either leave him on the lanyard like this, or you could take it off, put it on your key ring, or put it on your lounge fly backpack. You know, there's that's that's a that's a whole other extra character that you're getting with this. Plus, not only is he fully sculpted and painted with all kinds of shadows, and he looks exactly like he he should and another thing is on the bottom side you have a little on off switch and a battery housing because his other extra cool feature is he speaks and so whether you're going to fill him up with popcorn or take popcorn out pretty cool He thinks he, he thinks so too. So uh, what a great piece of Star Wars lore to add to your collection, especially if you're a big fan of Return of the Jedi or that you're collecting the Star Wars popcorn buckets or you just love Jabba the Hutt. I got a couple of other uh, Jabba the Hutt items as well. So I had the, the you ever see the burping Jabba? You push down on his head and like green goo came out. I had that one for a while. I actually bought a bunch of those when they went on clearance at Toys R Us and I gave them to all my brothers for Christmas. <laughs> cause, that's, Cause that's the kind of brother I am. Uh, I've got the classic Jabba the Hutt that came out with Kenner Toys and his whole band. But, oh, and I've got him on the Burger King glass as well. But not a lot of other Jabba stuff. But when I saw this, especially the fact that he talks, I was like, oh yeah. I gotta get that one. I've done some other reviews for popcorn buckets as well. Uh, did a review for the Adat, did a review for the Mouse Droid, did a review for the Millennium Falcon that all the girls turned into a purse. <laughs> I did a review for the TIE Fighter, so go check those out as well if you collect the popcorn buckets. What's your favorite Star Wars bucket, uh, popcorn bucket? Tell me down below. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.